Hello, crew. How is everybody? Got a massive reminder for you today. This is something that I want you to store in your minds and remind yourself of all the time because this is going to be really helpful for you as far as your sort of personal development, personal growth goes. So as many of you would be aware, I did not go live yesterday, which is normally my first live of the week because for two reasons. One, it was Australia Day, so we were out and about celebrating that, and it was Paul and my 21st year anniversary of being together, so we took the day off for both of those things. So thank you so much for all your lovely comments on Facebook and messages and, uh, yeah, just all the love. It was just amazing. So thank you uh, for that. I really appreciate that. Now, normally what I do with my first video of the week is to share with you something to do with personal development, personal growth, and I'm doing that today instead of yesterday. So this is really important. Um, a lot of you would have heard me say that it's not about funnels. It's not about the latest Facebook hack. It's not about the algorithm. None of that stuff is going to make you successful. What is going to make you successful is you and what's going on up here. And this has something to do with the reminder that I want to share with you today. Something to just keep checking in with yourself about because it can make a massive, massive, massive difference in your life. So how is everybody? Where are you tuning in from? Is everyone doing good? Please let me know. Love to know how our crew is is going. If we haven't met before, my name is Helen Martin and I'm your online crew captain. So that just means that I'm of service. I'm the captain of this crew here and I'm here to serve you to teach entrepreneurs, home-based business owners, direct sellers, those in network marketing, how to use modern social media strategies to build your business online. That's predominantly what we do here. But the first video of the week, which is today instead of yesterday, I uh, do bring you something thought-provoking to help you be a better version of you because that's what's going to take, you know, will make the difference at the end of the day is how you think and uh, what you say and the actions that you take and all those kind of things. So a couple of reminders, those of you that are in group 20 of my Build Your Brand course, we are on our first live Zoom call in just under an hour uh, for me to help you with your brand. So a reminder for you guys to turn up in just, just under an hour. So this time, you know, in an hour for our first live Zoom call um, there. And also a reminder to all of you, there are only a few days left. If you want to be one of the cool kids in the coaching community and get advantage of all the training that I've done over the last couple of years and get that all included for a dollar trial for three days and then under 30 bucks if you want to keep, um, you know, keep that material as long as you're active. Um, all to do with social media training, um, you know, that could be branding, networking, prospecting, groups, Facebook advertising, organic growth, uh, you name it, it's in there. Just click the link above and have a look at that. But that is going away after 31st of January. You won't be able to access all that training again. You'll have to pay for each boot camp individually. So it really is a no-brainer if you want to get access to all that social media training, okay? So let me say hello to a few people. We have Grace here. How are you? Good to see you on. Hello, Cherie. How are you? Hello, Susan. Good to see you on. We've got Patric Patricia. Spit it out, Helen. Christine, happy Australia Day. Thank you. Happy anniversary. Thank you as well. Hello, Hayley. Good to see you on. We've got a vet. I'll see you shortly in the branding course. Hello, Susan, one of our um, special VIPs. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Thank you so much. Happy belated anniversary in Australia Day. Thank you, Grace exactly me and what I do um, to make me successful. Correct, Cherie. Thank you, Gina. I appreciate that. Hello, Cindy. How are you? Thank you. We did. We had a great day. Watching in bed from the UK. Good to see you on because a lot of people in the UK are already asleep. Hello, Clarita, but Clarita's um, awake. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello, Olive. Thank you very much. Yes, it was awesome. Hello, Terry. Good to see you here. Thank you, Beth. Appreciate that. We've got Ellie in the house, brand new to our coaching community. So welcome, Ellie. Uh, thank you, Yvette. Hello, Hero. Um, anybody appearing like that, it just means you're watching from our social media group and you just need to click the link up above in the description. It's at the bottom up above that says uh, 
streamyard.com forward slash Facebook, just so I can see who you are. 10 inches of snow here, or oh, completely the opposite here. We've had really hot weather. Hello, Sandy. Great to see you here. We've got Janet here as well. Um, so awesome to see you guys on. So let me get into the content for today. What I want you to remember daily, or I recommend, I suggest you do what you want to do with your lives. But what I recommend that you do is continually remind yourself, change your story, change your life. Now, let me explain this. So you need to understand the, the sort of reasoning behind this. But the wording that you want to continually remind yourself of is change the story, change your life, change the story, change your life. The reason that's important because the dialogue that goes on in your head creates your reality. So just think about that for a moment. The dialogue that goes in along in your head creates your actual reality, the success or otherwise, the happiness or otherwise, the results or otherwise, the financial gains or otherwise. So what you tell yourself will create your reality, your story. So we're run by our psychology. We're run by our brain, okay? Our brain is wired to keep us safe and that's why we often don't do the things we know we need to do that make us uncomfortable because your brain goes, that's okay. It doesn't feel good to go for a long run and sweat a lot, so don't do it. It's okay. You can sit on the couch and eat your chips and watch a movie and watch Netflix. So that's what our brain is sort of designed um, to do. But the first level of psychology is the story that you tell yourself. Okay, so what's the story you're telling yourself? What's the story you're telling yourself today? Your little voice, we've all got one, who's got a little voice? Your little voice is telling you a story today. Your little voice has probably told you something already today that is just a story and it's not reality. So things like, let me give you a couple of examples to make sense of this. Things like like in, in your business maybe, um, you know, I can't get any customers. Um, there's a lack of customers, um, you know, out there. Oh, I can't get anybody to join my team or nobody is joining my team. So that's the story that you're telling yourself and that creates your reality. So when you tell yourself the story, I can't, that's one word you absolutely want to eliminate in your vocab, I can't. But that story that you tell yourself, is it actually real or not? Check in with yourself. What you want to be saying to yourself is there is no better time to be attracting more customers to my business. There's no better time around the world at the moment to attract people to the kind of business that I'm in and what I'm doing. There is no better time to be growing this kind of business model with what's going on around the world at the moment. So which is your story? What do you tell yourself? What is the dialogue that goes on in your head? And is it true or not? I can't get customers. I can't get people to join my team. Your dialogue is your reality. You get the gist? You know this. This is not new. But the reason that I, um, you know, share things like this with you is to raise your level of awareness of what your little voice is saying to you in your head. Because your little voice has said something in your head today that has probably told you something that is not quite true or not quite reality, but that becomes your reality because of what you tell yourself. So what is the story that you're telling yourself? And you need to have a really high level of awareness of what those thoughts are because those thoughts create your reality. So if you often find yourself questioning or highlighting the things that aren't going well in your life, whether that's finances, you're continually complaining about the bills, you're continually talking about financial struggles all the time, guess what? What you focus on, you get more of. You'll just get more financial struggles. So if you tell yourself things like, um, you know, I, 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 can't, I can't get anyone to join my business or I can't get any customers, um, you know, um, to buy my things, what you tell yourself, the story that you tell yourself becomes your reality. So your reality becomes you won't get any customers. You won't get anybody to join your your team because your little voice creates your dialogue. Your dialogue creates your reality. So you really want to have a massive level of awareness of what you're thinking and what you're saying because what do you want your reality to be? Do you want it to be abundant? Do you want to have, um, you know, customers every week? 
Do you want to have people joining your team every month? If you do, if you want that to become your reality, then that has to be your psychology. Remember, the first level of the psychology is the story that you tell yourself. So do you tell yourself that you're capable of having at least, you know, two members join your team a month or have a handful of customers? Or Do you tell yourself that that is your reality or that is going to be your reality? I would figure for most of you, you don't say that to yourself. Would that be a fair assumption? You're probably highlighting what you don't have more than what you do have. So guess what your reality is going to play out to be? Simple but powerful and this is what's going to help you be successful in life is the way that you think. Everything revolves around the way you think and the dialogue that's going on in your brain and reminding yourself constantly when those negative thoughts pop in or I can't or I won't or it's not working or other, you've, you need to change that dialogue to create a new reality because it's just a story. When you tell yourself, I'm just not confident enough, it's a freaking story. You can build confidence. You can work on confidence. There are things that you can practice every single day to build your confidence. It's just a story you tell yourself, but that story creates your reality. So which story do you want to run in your mind? It all comes down to the way you think. And if you're that person that's always complaining about your lack of finances, if you're that person that's always complaining about the lack of customers or the lack of people joining your team and all those kind of things, then that is what is going to become your reality and your voice is not working in your favour, your little voice is working against you. So check in with yourself when you're telling yourself things or you're saying things to your teammates. It's like, oh, okay, check in. I don't, I don't want to think like that anymore. I need to concentrate on the possibilities because the possibilities is what's going to change my thoughts, my dialogue and my action. It's like, yeah, well, that was yesterday. That was last month. I'm creating a new reality moving forward. And I choose to say things like there is never a better time to attract more customers to me. There is never a better time around the world to have people open to an opportunity like you are doing. There is never a better time for you to be doing exactly what you are doing in this industry. If you don't actually believe that to your core, then you're missing heaps of opportunities that are right around you. Somebody might be right in front of you that might be perfect to join you in your business, but you're not even seeing it because that's not the way that you think. And you've totally missed the opportunity because you're not, that's not your reality. Your reality is that no one's joining you in your business. Do you see how this plays out as a human being and how your psychology is just so important, which just means basically the way that you think. But the first level of the way that you think is the stories that you tell yourself. So if you're saying things like, it's hard, I can't, it's just a story. You can change anything you want to in your life right now. It's up to you. So be very, very careful of the stories that you tell yourself in your head because what starts here comes out here. So your thoughts, you know, create words. Your words are the action that you do or don't take. And if those words are negative words, then you don't take the action that you know you need to make. So it's really about changing the way that you think and remembering change your story, change your life. So something that you should remind yourself, massive reminder, as my heading of this live says, change your story, change your life. You change the way you think, you change your life. Nobody's got any more time than you. Everybody's got 24 hours in a day. Everybody, like in this industry, it's the same, you know, you, wherever you are, if you're in a company, everyone has the same company, the same products, the same comp plan, the same shipping issues, whatever is going on. So how is it that some people can get to the top? And some people really, really, really sit in the struggle bus. It's not the company. It's not the comp plan. It's not the products. It's not the shipping problems. It's you and how you limit yourself through your limiting beliefs. 
It's how you network. It's the action that you do or don't take. It absolutely 100% comes down to you. Okay, and the relationships that you build, the connections, how you carry yourself, the way that you think. You change your story, you change your life. That's what I'm recommending that you write down and you put on a sticky note and you put it in the mirror of your bathroom and somewhere else on the fridge and wherever else you want to put it, change your story, change your life and catch the way that you think. And when those doubts are creeping in, remind yourself, my thoughts create my reality. If that's the way I'm going to continue to think, that's going to be my reality and that's not what I want for myself. You're born for greatness, each and every one of you. You're born for financial success. You just got to go and make it happen. Plenty of people do, so why not you? Change your story, change your life. Okay. Just going to uh, just check in with uh, some of the things that um, you have shared here. Yes, Sheree, change your story, change your life. What you tell yourself will be um, your life. So important. Hey, Cheryl, how are you? Good to see you on. Yes, that voice has been loud today, has it? So just check in with that. It doesn't make it right or wrong. You can't change the way you think overnight. But if you raise your level of awareness, you can work at it every day. And when you work at it every day, you build more muscle in your brain and your thoughts. And somewhere along the line, you will go towards the positive before you go to the negative, but you can't change that overnight. It requires a lot of thought and a lot of energy, but you've got to start with awareness. If you're not aware of it, you can't change something you're not aware of. But if you constantly remind yourself, change my thoughts, change my life, change my thoughts, change my life. If you can have a high level of awareness around that, then you've got half a chance of actually changing the way your default thinking happens. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Turn the page in your story. Absolutely. Fighting the negative story in my head every day. And most people will, Janet. But this is one of the reasons that I continue to talk about this kind of stuff to raise your level of awareness. If it's really high in your level of awareness, then you've got more of a chance to change it because it is a constant fight, fight and a constant battle in most people's head. And you, you just can't think one day, oh, I want to think positively and you'll start thinking positively. It doesn't work that way. You've, you've been run by your subconscious probably for 20, 30, 40, 50, however many years. That's the way you run. So to change that, it requires a lot of energy, a lot of awareness and a lot of, um, you know, positive reinforcement for yourself. Um, I intentionally made myself uh, stick to being grateful on awakening and think how I can help some. I do that every morning and every night before my hit, feet hit the floor, I've got something that I say to myself about what I want to achieve and who I'm going to help and what I'm grateful for every morning without fail. If I can't sleep when my head hits the pillow, that's where my thoughts go. Gratefulness, um, you know, and what is it that I'm working towards? Eliminate. I can't exactly get rid of that word. It doesn't serve you. It doesn't serve any of you. Um, I can. I am attracting the right people right now that I can help. Great. Hi, Aldith. How are you? Focusing on the positives and believing in myself. This is so true. Um, using words to make it in the present. Um, I'm writing a book that Amazon sells, for example. Exactly. Thinking positively and believing I can achieve things. Absolutely. Killed the little voice. I have to wake up the positive affirmations. Agreed. Massive level of awareness. It's been a tough week, but I'm staying positive. I have to remember to say things that I want in my life to occur. No negative, but need to speak some specific positives like um, I attract five customers per day. Yeah, got it. And um, none of this will ever stop the negative thoughts. You'll always have negative thoughts your entire life. And it's not wrong to have negative thoughts. Um, it would be completely unrealistic to think that you never have a negative thought. Your job your, your, what you're working towards is have the negative thought for a second instead of years. Make sense? So you might think, oh, I can't do this. And then you go, oh, I use that word. I can. No, I can. I can turn this around. So it's not that you're never going to have negative thoughts. So don't make that a bad thing. You're human. You're all going to have negative thoughts. Just turn around really quickly. And then you'll build, you'll 
keep building that muscle to then go, no, I'm awesome. I will achieve whatever it is that I want to achieve. It will create a new normal the more that you do it. So it's not that you're never going to think negatively. It's just you learn to switch, you know, sw you know, make that switch into the positive a lot quicker than what you have done in the past. Rather than sitting on a negative thought for 24 hours and woe is me and nothing's going right and all that kind of stuff, you just snap yourself out of it really, really quickly. That's what that's what you want to work towards. Sheree, love this, Helen, and thank you for reminding me I need to speak it to myself. It's not good enough to just not speak negatives, still have to speak this as uh, positive stories. Absolutely. Grace, I will achieve my goals as long as I remain consistent, irrespective of whatever I have hurdles some days or not. You're all going to have hurdles. It's quite right, Grace. Nothing's ever going to be perfect. No, you know, if anybody in personal development world says, you know, you've got to you um you know only think positive and what if that's just not reality things are going to go wrong you're going to have bad days you're going to think badly about yourself you're going to think badly about others it's just not wrong it's just turn it around quickly turn it around really quickly hey Matthew so good to see you on uh thank you no worries uh Grace love this from Gina thoughts become things so be very mindful of your thoughts and that's basically the gist of this whole um you, you know, uh, video is that's uh, thoughts become things. Your psychology creates your reality. Change your story, change your life. Change your story, change your life. Change your story, change your life. Uh, have we got it? <laughs> uh, yes, comes down to me. Absolutely, absolutely love this. Um, no, thanks for all your comments, um, go uh, guys. Um, <laughs> your mirror in my bar, my mirror in my bathroom is getting full. That's a good thing. Uh, love this subject. Thank you, Helen. No worries. Thanks for all your comments, guys. I'll catch the rest of those um, later as well. But it, it's the simple things that people tend to overlook. People are so busy learning about attraction marketing or building a funnel or email marketing or a Facebook hack or the latest thing on TikTok or Clubhouse or, you know, all the buzzwords, you know, at the moment. They're good, they're great, they might help you build exposure, grow your influence, connect with more people, awesome. But none of that matters if at the end of the day you self-sabotage yourself because you don't think you're good enough. Okay? So you're number one. You've got to sort yourself out first. Yes, learn all the things, but this stuff should always be in the forefront of your mind every day. Change my story, change my life, change my story, change your life because none of that other stuff is going to make it happen for you. You're the one that's going to make it happen. It's just so, so, so important. And we are all a work in progress. I don't think anyone ever arrives and you're suddenly the most amazing human being on the planet. Um, I don't think anyone is the most amazing human being on the planet. We've all got to work on this daily. But if you raise your level of awareness and think about this stuff at the beginning of the day and your end of the day, you're more than likely able to be successful because you don't give in to the negative crap that goes in that little voice in your head. You just turn it around really quickly. No, this is what I want. This is what I'm going for. And this is going to happen. <laughs> okay. So I'll leave it there, guys. Um, just really want to share that message with you today and encourage you to write it down and put it in front of your face every day. Change your story, change your life. Because the stories you tell yourself and there would be some kind of story you've even told yourself today that doesn't serve you. So just work out what it is that you're telling yourself if it's not positive and turn it around really quickly. Okay, so those of you in group 20 of the branding course, I'll see you guys in just over uh, 30 minutes. Um, those of you that aren't one of the cool kids in our coaching community, please check that link above before that all goes away on the 31st of January. Do yourself a favor. It might be the best investment you've ever made in your business. You never know. Okay, so I will see you guys same time tomorrow and write it down. Change your thought, uh, change your story, change your life. Okay, see ya.